the newest receiver on Buffalo's roster. It is a six-round draft choice, Marquez Stevenson out of the University of Houston, now a Buffalo Bill. And Marquez, thanks, first of all, for giving you giving us some time here during what is a busy week for you, your first week of, like, real hardcore football here in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of start are you off to here? Because today was kind of like day one, right? Uh, yesterday, actually, was day one, you know, um, just getting all the checkups, you know, doing the photo shoot, all the good stuff, you know, tasting out the wings, just staying like that. Yesterday was pretty smooth. <laughs> right. Nice. Um, a little snack of wings. That's good. Yeah, go ahead, good start. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> give, us a, give us a little insight as to how it's gone. I mean, is it just to, are they just getting you acclimated and like showing you what meeting rooms you're in, where the weight room is, getting, you know, just basically giving you the nickel tour? Or did they sit you down and put you to work and start showing you the playbook, that kind of thing, or both? <clears throat> Yes, our both. I'll say both. Um, back before I even got down here, you know, we already were going over the playbook. You know, meeting every day at one o'clock. But when I got down here, they were showing me like, you know, what the weight room, bed, the meeting room. You know, I'm um, getting fitted for my helmet, things like that. And then Marquez, I'm sure you took a look at the Bills' schedule, and mm-hmm. knowing you are a Shreveport native, I have to imagine you are very happy to see that the Bills will be playing the Saints on Thanksgiving. That was probably a day you figured you'd be away from your family, and now here on Thanksgiving in your rookie year, you're probably going to have, what, how many How many family members in the stands for that game, you think? Man, a lot, a lot. You know, when that schedule came out, everybody seen that game, everybody, you know, tapping my line, saying they're going to be down there. I mean, my high school football coaches even said they kept in practice for that day. So, I mean, <laughs> it's a whole, I'm going to have I have a whole lot of family dying up for sure. Yeah, I just got to tell you, uh, Marquez, I, when I was playing, I rarely – I grew up out west, and when the Bills finally got a game in Denver, I got – and the schedule came out, I got 186 ticket requests. for I had to get 186 tickets. I, I want you to keep track of how many requests you yeah. have to get. Now, tell them, you don't get free tickets <laughs> – yeah, but man. you get it for – that's the key. Yeah, don't man. get left Don't get left holding that bag. That's my, my one tip to you. Make sure they know you don't get them for free. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Appreciate and number two, get somebody to handle that for you so you don't have yeah. to worry about it. You can just focus on the game for plan sure. that week and let somebody else handle your tickets for you, whether it's your agent or somebody else. I'm not telling you anything you probably don't know. Right. <laughs> um, so, so lay this out for me because I've, I found these connections fascinating. You kind of shared with us after you got drafted that you were Ed Oliver's roommate at Houston. Mm-hmm. Dorm, you know, dorm together. Uh, so you already had that relationship walking in the door. And then – you blew us away when you told, I mean, us being up north, we don't know how big Shreveport is. Is you know, is it a small town? Is it a big town? We don't know how many people are in Shreveport. But to find out that you were like best buds with Tredavious White's brother growing up, I mean, that was just mind-blowing for us. So how how crazy is it for you to not have one connection on this Bills roster, but two walking in the door? I mean, I feel like um, best of both worlds, you know, man, it having the type of relationship we had, just me and Tre David having the type of relationship we had, you know, me growing up. I've been knowing Tre David, you know, since I was, you know, eight years old. So, I mean, I just slept at his house before all that and just meeting Ed up in college, you know, being roommates with him before he decided to um, declare to the NFL. I mean, just having those two guys to learn from and also being like older guys already in the league, I mean, it means a lot. Give us an, an insight as to what what did Tredavious say to you? I mean, I know you guys spoke right away, and he sent you a video probably. What what are some of the conversations, more concrete conversations about what you can expect, what to do, what to stay away from? What what advice has Tredavious given you already? I mean, just keep your head down and just keep working. You know, you're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days, but don't let your bad days carry over. You know, just keep going and keep looking forward, and just no matter what, just keep your head down and keep fighting. I, I got to believe, though, Marquez, that is a resource for you as a receiver to tap into that a lot of rookies are just not going to feel comfortable. You know, I, I picture yourself as a rookie somewhere else going against veteran corners in practice that, that you don't know very well. You're probably not going to approach them and say, hey, when I did this, what are you looking to do from a defensive perspective as a corner there to keep me from staying on t- the timing of my route or something like that. You feel comfortable bouncing that off, Tredavious, who's seen it at for this sure. level for four years. How valuable a resource do you think he can be to kind of help you shorten your learning curve as a rookie? I mean, real valuable, real valuable. You no, know, he mentioned in the video, you no, know, we're gonna be the, we're gonna be together every day at practice, you no, know, for sure. Um, getting each other better. I know for sure you're gonna make him a better player, and I'm gonna try my best to make him a better player also. Yeah, and when you and you come up here, have they given you advice? Like, are they saying, "Hey, you can you can 
hold up at my place for a while or whatever. I think, <laughs> I, think I mean, this is because this is it's a different life up. You, I mean, you don't have a dorm to just check into. You got to go mm-hmm. find a place. You got to get comfortable. It's a big adjustment uh, from co- no matter what college you went to, what atmosphere you were in. It's a big adjustment. Of have they given you like, hey, I'm going to take care of you, all that kind of thing, or, or are they giving you yeah, advice sure. on how to for how sure. to go I'm about? I haven't just asked them. I haven't just asked him yet, you know, can I stay at their spot? But I know, I mean, Ed and Jadavia, like I said, I mean, we got a crazy relationship to get. I know it won't be a problem for sure. Right. And then, Marquez, with respect to your position specifically, is there one position they're having you focus on out the gate here? Um, Because we know in time, Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator, likes receivers to learn all the positions so he can deploy you wherever he sees fit in a given game week. I'm just curious where they might be starting you at right now. Right now, on um, the X receiver, you know, they told me they want me to um, get the X receiver um, down pack. You know, just master that one first, then after I master that one, then we can move on from there. Gotcha. It, wide receivers coach Chad Hall, what's your relationship been? What's your conversations been like with him? I know he's the guy that you, you deal with <clears throat> on a day to day basis, him and Brian Dayball. Have you had a chance to sit down with Chad Hall? Is that for sure? Like I said, I mean, we were meeting every Monday. I mean, well, yeah, every day at one o'clock. You know, um, we just going over the plays. You know, he giving me quizzes. You know, I'm telling him back my feedback, just trying to see how good I can learn. Been going and then Marquez, it, it's hard not to notice three kick returns for touchdowns in your last two years of school, all of them real long ones. So maybe just talk to me about your approach on kick return are you just like a stick your foot in the ground one cut and go guy or do you find that you tend to have more success weaving in and out of traffic i mean just either one you know whichever the play might bring me i feel like on um, you know my speed my playmaking ability i mean i feel like that's what i depend on you know just no matter offense or on uh, special team now i get the ball i'm looking to score what are you looking to do this the rest of this week? What have they got planned for you as this rookie mini camp it comes to a close, and then down the road a month or two, what's your what does your um, agenda look like? So I think our uh, rookie mini camp actually starts tomorrow. So I'm trying to you know go out there and do what I know I can do. You know, just play fast. You know, and just make plays. And um, just after that, you know, just whatever whatever it brings. You know, from workouts to lifting, just anything. And so, Marquez, as you come out of rookie mini camp, what? What do you think would be a good week for you? Like at the end of this weekend, when rookie mini camp wraps up, what are you hoping you can say about what you've kind of put in the memory bank and basically absorbed and applied? I mean, just want to just um, by Sunday, I want to just you know know to myself like I went out there and I did what I wanted to do, and that's make plays and do what I do what I know I'm capable of doing. Well, Marquez, it's congratulations on sixth round pick of the Buffalo Bills. It's uh, you came into a really good culture. We wish you all the best. I know that uh, you've got a lot on your plate right now, and we appreciate you setting aside some time to come in and talk with us. And we're going to hopefully get a chance to speak with you during the regular season as well. Good luck to you, man. Yes, sir, for sure. Appreciate y'all.